Ravi Ravitaran, Peter Mutton and Graham Chu are the inspirational leaders behind the highly successful Institute of Railway Technology, also known as IRT at Monash University. For over 40 years, the group has played a significant role in technical innovations in railway engineering worldwide, offering major operational and financial benefits to operators of heavy haul and metro railway systems. The strong benefits that IRT brings are basically a multidisciplinary team that can be brought together to, to solve railway industry's problems. The rail grinding is used to maintain the rail shape in track between wheel and rail. It is one of the key area of IRT. The focus of our work has been to improve the reliability of the welds, particularly in heavy haul, using our facilities here to understand the failure modes and develop qualification testings. The group spent 28 years as the Railway Engineering Research and Development Group at BHP Research. BHP was very keen on increasing the axle loads and looking at how that can be achieved. They estimated around $35 million a year of savings as a result of the R&D. The group then moved to Monash University, continuing to provide services for BHP. Being able to see the sorts of work that the IRT does, I think is very inspirational for our students to really see engineering uh, in practice. These were a bunch of engineers and technology people who did not see themselves as academics, but who then fitted into a university environment and made their group stronger. The key to IRT's success is that it offers a comprehensive range of technologies to the operator, including metallurgical improvements in rails and wheel and axle sets that have enabled the highest axle loadings in the world, better maintenance processes relating to rail welding and repair, and instrumented vehicle technology, IVT. The instrumented vehicle technology has really changed the way that you can monitor your track condition. We've developed a lot of hardware and satellite tracking, mobile recording that are capable of dealing with the extremes of the operation in the Pilbara. What really impressed me about the research team is that they went out there and worked in iron ore's territory. Running a railway system through, a, through a, a, an environment where you've got sand blowing over the railway track all the time really pushes the limit in terms of what you can achieve. The impact of IRT's technologies on metro and suburban rail systems has extended beyond Australia into Asia, the Middle East, USA and Brazil. Rio Tinto has recognised the usefulness of the technology in preventing possible catastrophic derailments. And now seeing 70 to 80 units spread out across BHP, Rio Tinto, FMG and Vale gives us a lot of satisfaction as an engineer and uh, as a scientist. Ravitaran, Mutton and Chu's commitment over many years to improve the railway industry through technology and to the creation of customer value is exemplary. Graham is a hands-on researcher. He enjoys formulating research projects to solve problems for customers. Ravi has very strong industry links. He's been chairman of the peak body for railway within Australia. Peter has a vision of where the technology needs to be improved. Revenue from 2006 to 2012 has increased by 345%. Their profitability has contributed in excess of $7.6 million to Monash University. They bring a lot of contract research uh, funding to the university which helps support a really innovative research program. As recognised leaders in the railway industry, Ravitaran, Martin and Tew have had a major impact on the performance of the heavy haul and metro railway systems around the world. Bringing our combined expertise together to solve a problem is, is extremely critical. We have passion for the industry that we're in. Each and every problem that we work help us to move forward even further. Their cutting edge research activities over the last four decades have delivered advanced technological developments that have achieved major operational and cost savings to the mining industry and other rail customers and have supported ongoing growth in the Australian economy.